Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today, we'll be discussing the most advanced military technology available today. The c 19 MSTAS is a Russian self-propelled howitzer artillery system developed in the 1980s. The MSTAS has been used in a number of conflicts and military operations, including the First and Second Chechen Wars, the 2008 Russo-Georgian War, and the Syrian Civil War. It has been praised for its reliability, mobility, and effectiveness in combat situations. It has sniper accuracy compared to other self-propelled guns. In these shots, you can see how the Ukrainian defenders are conducting tests of captured two C-19 MSTAS howitzers. The Aksungur is an unmanned aerial vehicle produced by Turkish Aerospace Industries. It is a medium-altitude, long-endurance drone that is designed for intelligence, surveillance, and reconnaissance missions, as well as for conducting armed operations. The Aksungur is equipped with various sensors and cameras that provide it with real-time intelligence, surveillance, and reconnaissance capabilities. It also has a payload capacity of up to 750 kilograms, which allows it to carry various weapons and ammunition, including air-to-surface missiles and guided bombs. The Altay Main Battle Tank, MBT, is a modern armored vehicle designed and developed by Odakar, a Turkish defense company. Named after General Ferretin Altay, a distinguished Turkish military officer, the Altay MBT represents Turkey's ambition to establish a domestically produced and advanced armored platform. It incorporates advanced composite armor and modular protection systems, providing enhanced survivability against a variety of threats, including kinetic energy projectiles, anti-tank guided missiles, and improvised explosive devices. The tank's crew compartment is designed to withstand the effects of explosions and incorporates measures to reduce the risk of fire and explosion. The K-2 Black Panther is a South Korean main battle tank, designed and produced by Hyundai Rotom Company and currently in service with the Republic of Korea Army. It is named after the Black Panther, a large cat native to the Korean Peninsula. One of the key features of the K-2 Black Panther is its advanced composite armor, which is designed to provide protection against a wide range of threats, including armor-piercing rounds and rocket-propelled grenades. The tank is also equipped with a soft-kill active protection system. The vehicle Bland de Combat d'Infanterie (VBCI) is a French 8x8-wheeled infantry fighting vehicle (IFV) developed by the French defense company Nexter Systems, formerly known as Giot Industries and Renault Trucks Defense. The VBCI is in service with the French Army and other countries, including Saudi Arabia, Qatar, and Cyprus. The VBCI is equipped with advanced technology and digital systems, including a battlefield management system, digital map display, and a satellite navigation system. The VBCI has seen combat in several conflicts, including the French intervention in Mali, where it demonstrated its effectiveness in counterinsurgency operations. The Panther KF-51 is a main battle tank that is currently being developed by Rheinmetall Land System, a part of Rheinmetall's Vehicle Systems Division. The tank was unveiled to the public on June 13, 2022, at the Eurosatory Defense Exhibition. KF stands for Kettenfahrzeug, meaning tracked vehicle. The innermost layer is made up of all-welded steel armor covered by passive armor modules. The second layer comprises sensor-based reactive armor while the final layer is made up of Rhine Metal's Active Defense System Active Protection System.
The Patria Nemo container is an innovative and versatile containerized mortar system developed by Patria, a Finnish defense company. It provides a highly adaptable and mobile indirect fire support capability to military forces operating in various environments. The containerized design allows for seamless integration with a wide range of military vehicles, including trucks, amphibious vehicles, and naval vessels. The modular nature of the system enables it to be easily installed and removed from different platforms, providing flexibility and adaptability. Milram Robotics Type X robotic combat vehicle represents a significant advancement in military technology, combining the capabilities of unmanned systems with combat effectiveness. Developed by the Estonian defense company, Milrem Robotics, the Type X is designed to support and enhance the capabilities of armored units on the battlefield. The vehicle's advanced software algorithms and artificial intelligence capabilities enhance its ability to autonomously detect and classify threats, contributing to faster decision-making and response times. The Pandur II is a versatile wheeled armored vehicle designed and developed by the Austrian company Steyr Daimler Puk Spezial Fahrzeug GmbH, now known as General Dynamics European Land Systems. It is in service with several countries around the world, including Austria, Belgium, and Portugal. One of the key features of the Pandur II is its high level of mobility. It has a powerful engine and eight wheels, which allows it to traverse rough terrain and reach high speeds. It also has an amphibious capability which allows it to travel in water. The M1128 Striker, a formidable wheeled armored fighting vehicle, represents a significant advancement in modern military technology. Developed by General Dynamics Land Systems, this versatile combat platform combines mobility, firepower, and advanced capabilities to meet the demands of a rapidly changing battlefield. Equipped with a powerful 105mm M68A1E4 rifled cannon, it possesses formidable firepower capable of engaging both armored and soft targets with precision. Its turret also features a coaxial machine gun and a commander's remote weapon station which can be armed with a machine gun or anti-tank guided missile launcher. The MQ-1C Grey Eagle is an unmanned aerial vehicle developed by General Atomics Aeronautical Systems for the United States Army. It is a derivative of the Predator drone and is designed to provide the Army with long-endurance, medium-altitude intelligence, surveillance, and reconnaissance capabilities, as well as the ability to carry out precision strikes against ground targets. It is powered by a heavy fuel engine that enables it to operate at high altitudes and in extreme weather conditions. It can be used for border patrol, disaster response, and law enforcement, among other applications. The M113 Armored Personnel Carrier, APC, is a versatile and widely used military vehicle designed for troop transport and battlefield mobility. It has been in service with various armed forces around the world since its introduction in the 1960s. The M113 has proven itself as a reliable and adaptable platform, with numerous variants developed to fulfill a range of mission requirements. The vehicle can accommodate a driver and a crew of up to 11 fully equipped soldiers, including a commander and a gunner. The Milrem Themis UGV, unmanned ground vehicle, is an advanced robotic platform developed by Milrem Robotics, an Estonian defense technology company. The Themis UGV features a modular and adaptable design that allows for various mission-specific configurations and payloads. Its rugged and durable construction ensures reliable performance in challenging terrains and harsh environments. The vehicle's tracked chassis provides excellent mobility and stability, 
allowing it to traverse difficult terrain and navigate obstacles with ease. The M1224 Max Pro is a mine-resistant, ambush-protected MRAP vehicle developed by Navistar Defense. It was designed to provide enhanced protection and survivability for military personnel operating in high-threat environments, particularly against improvised explosive devices, IEDs, and ambushes. The Max Pro has been widely used by the United States military and other allied forces in various conflict zones. The vehicle can accommodate a crew of up to six personnel, including a driver, a commander, and four additional passengers. It provides spacious and well-protected seating arrangements with ballistic protection against small arms fire and shrapnel. The Lynx Infantry Fighting Vehicle IFV, is a cutting-edge armored vehicle that combines advanced firepower, exceptional mobility, and enhanced protection. It was developed by Rheinmetall in collaboration with various international partners. Its deployment enhances the operational capabilities of armed forces, providing infantry units with a versatile and highly capable platform for a range of missions, including reconnaissance, fire support, and troop transport. One of the key features of the Lynx IFV is its advanced protection systems. The vehicle incorporates advanced composite and modular armor, providing high levels of protection against ballistic threats, mines, and improvised explosive devices, IEDs. The JLTV, or Joint Light Tactical Vehicle, is a modern and highly capable military vehicle that combines enhanced mobility, advanced protection, and versatile mission capabilities. Developed by Oshkosh Defense, the JLTV represents a significant advancement in the field of light tactical vehicles, providing enhanced performance and survivability for military forces. In addition to its robust design and protection features, the JLTV is equipped with advanced communication and network integration capabilities. This enables seamless integration into modern command and control systems, facilitating real-time information exchange and enhancing situational awareness for the crew and other friendly forces. The K-9 Thunder is a South Korean-made, self-propelled howitzer that is widely considered one of the most advanced artillery systems in the world. Developed by Samsung Techwin, now Hanwha Defense, the K-9 Thunder is designed to provide highly accurate and effective indirect fire support to ground troops. One of the key features of the K-9 Thunder is its exceptional mobility. The system is based on a tracked chassis and can operate on a range of terrain, including rough terrain and steep hills. The AN-TWQ-1 Avenger is a highly capable short-range air defense system used by the United States military and several other countries. The Avenger system consists of a turret mounted on a Humvee, high-mobility multi-purpose wheeled vehicle, or similar platform. The turret is equipped with eight ready-to-fire FIM-92 Stinger surface-to-air missiles, which are capable of engaging targets at ranges of up to eight kilometers. These missiles are guided by infrared homing seekers, enabling them to track and intercept airborne threats with high precision. The Freccia Infantry Fighting Vehicle, IFV, is a modern armored vehicle that was designed and manufactured by the Italian defense company Iveco Otto Malara. It is currently in service with the Italian Army and it has been deployed in several peacekeeping missions around the world. One of the key features of the Freccia IFV is its advanced digital system, which allows for enhanced situational awareness and communication capabilities. The vehicle is equipped with a battlefield management system, a digital map display, and a satellite navigation system, 
which make it a valuable asset on the battlefield. Boxer Remotely Controlled Howitzer, RCH-155 is a German-made 155mm towed howitzer developed by Krauss Maffei Wegmann. It is designed to provide highly accurate and effective indirect fire support to ground troops. It features a modular design that allows it to be easily transported by a range of vehicles, including trucks and helicopters. It has a range of up to 30 kilometers and can fire up to six rounds per minute. The howitzer is equipped with an advanced fire control system that includes a laser range finder, a digital battlefield management system, and a navigation system. Bayraktar Akinci is a larger and more advanced UAV compared to Bayraktar. It has a wingspan of 20 meters, making it the largest UAV ever produced in Turkey. One of the key features of the Bayraktar Akinci is its ability to carry a wide range of munitions, including air-to-ground missiles, bombs, and guided rockets. Additionally, the drone's advanced sensor suite and communication systems enable it to operate in contested airspace and to conduct a variety of missions, including intelligence gathering, surveillance, and strike missions. The Rheinmetall Fuchs Evolution is a highly advanced armored personnel carrier, APC, developed by Rheinmetall Defense. Building upon the success and capabilities of the original Fuchs APC, the Fuchs Evolution represents a significant upgrade with enhanced features, improved performance, and modernized technologies. One of the key upgrades in the Fuchs Evolution is its enhanced mobility. The vehicle is equipped with a powerful engine, providing increased power and improved maneuverability. The advanced suspension system and high-performance drivetrain enable the Fuchs Evolution to traverse diverse terrains, including rough terrain and off-road conditions. The Nora B-52 is a Serbian-made 155mm self-propelled howitzer that was developed in the 1990s. It has a range of up to 41 kilometers and can fire up to six rounds per minute. It is also equipped with an advanced fire control system, which includes a laser range finder, a digital battlefield management system, and a navigation system. In recent years, it has undergone several upgrades to improve its capabilities. These upgrades have included improvements to its armor protection, increased range, and the addition of a new autoloader system. The M60 AVLB Armored Vehicle Launched Bridge is a specialized engineering vehicle based on the M60 Patton main battle tank chassis. It is designed to provide rapid mobility and bridging capabilities for military forces, allowing them to overcome obstacles such as rivers, ditches, and other impassable terrain. When the vehicle reaches an obstacle, the crew extends the bridge launching system, which consists of a pair of articulated arms and a bridge span. The bridge is unfolded and lowered into place using the hydraulics, creating a stable path for other vehicles to cross. We hope you enjoyed learning about the most advanced military tech with us today. If you haven't already, please consider subscribing and leaving a comment down below.